We're at Kanamala Cemetery and um, there's no signs to say, well you can tell it's a cemetery, but there's yeah. no signs. Oh, I don't know. There's no signs, you know, fancy Kanamala signs. Is there? Which is a shame. But also, even on all the reviews of this place. Oh, the wind is cold. <laughs> um, all the reviews on this place, it's very disappointing and we'll show you why. When you first I know when you first walk in the big gate, it's all lawn cemetery. But you look over here. The older stuff. It hasn't been looked after at all. It's terrible. There's a few older things down the back there as well. We'll start up with here and see what we can find. Look at this. This is just horrible. shocking. Terrible. Really terrible. If they can keep that lawn cemetery so mowed over here, why can't they look after the pioneer side? This is, and even the, even That's really, John. Like John, even really, it's pioneer side, but there's people in 1960 and stuff here. It's not. And it's kept like this. No, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, like how terrible. Alright, we'll go over this one. Just have to keep our eye out on what's on the ground, really. I don't know how long we'll last in here, John, with the state of this. This one's got a fence around it and the little gate. Look. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, there's just numbers. I wonder what that is. It goes, it goes a long way over there, like a long way. an older one with a headstone on it, John. Nineteen oh four, Benjamin. Benjamin Leopold. What was it? Nineteen oh four. Age. Fourteenth February, nineteen oh four. Can you see the age down under there? I don't want to put my. Forty nine. Prickles. It's prickles. Full of prickles here. Oh, that's gonna take ages to get all those out. Yeah. So this place is full of prickles, like absolutely full of prickles. And John's given up, he's going back to the car. I don't think I'm gonna last long because the grass just gets longer and longer. This is incredibly disappointing for a cemetery to be like this. Like I said, considering it's attached to a cemetery that's beautifully manicured, I don't understand why they can't do this side. Loving memory of our dear mother, Ambro Ambrosine Campbell, born 18th of November 1859, died 23rd of March 1947. In memory of our dear sister, Suzanne Ambrosine Carter, born 11th of May 1888, died 27th of July 1888. I'll show you the prickles I'm covered in. See them? Ouch. Pointless trying to get them all out of me. I'm only going to get more. 
this one has got a little headstone in loving memory to the infant son of Enone Scott died 18th of June 1926 this is an unusual one look at that In loving memory of Austin Brumfield died 5th of April 1911. Sacred to the memory of Jim Parkinson died 20th of May 1918, aged 17 years, 8 months. It's like walking through the desert here. I'm finding if I'm stepping, walking like a, I don't know, a weirdo in the cemetery, I'm dodging these prickle bushes. Plenteous grace with thee is found, O land, lamb of God, I come. Oh look, John's trying to make his way back. Here he comes. I bet you he changed shoes or something. You should have seen our shoes. Full of prickles. Anyhow, let's keep going. In loving memory of Frederick Barnes Turner died 9th of March 1918, aged 3 years, 2 months. He came back. I think I know why they don't mow it. Yeah, but if they mowed it, there wouldn't be those these prickles. I'm just, I'm just being careful walking over. Yeah, that's what I just said to everyone. I said if I walk like a, a weird person through the cemetery, it's not too bad. It's all sand. It's it's like the desert, isn't it? It's uh, yeah. It's seriously like the desert. We we cactus prickled things. Look at this one. Look, in loving memory, my dear daughter, Olive Isabel Dees Desi, who died 11th of April 1915, aged six years and nine months. Here's another one, but it's a it's a baby scrape, but it's the size of adult, adults. In loving memory of Colin Tapsell, who died 28th of March 1915, aged two years and ten months. Yeah, you can't see. Here we go. Gladys Mabel Barden, born. What is it, March 15th, 1913, died December 11th, 1915. Do you know what I've noticed? A lot of the kids that are here have passed away when they're two or three years old. Very strange. I like when they've got little stories to it. Yeah. Do you know I don't like your bloody one too far where I can't see you? Oh, you love me, Johnny. Someone's got that. It's just interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I know. Thank you, darling. Thank you for loving me, Johnny. That one's got like that big sandstone thing there. I wonder what that was from. That? Yeah. Oh.
the people I was talking to in the last place, I don't remember their names, but they were helping the couple down the road or next door neighbours um, plan their burial. And they didn't realise how much was involved with it because they were saying to these, like, the elderly people that it's, you know, when you're buried, you know, make sure your headstone's facing one way because the sun rises that way so your headstone doesn't fade. Yeah. They were putting so much thought into it. So oh, wow. So their headstones and that would be, that would last forever. And really when you think about it, when you look at them like this, but they're all facing the same way. Yeah. The lady was putting into it, it was like, wow. Not really that old here, though. 1915, there's been a few 18s, but apparently there is 1800 stuff here, John. Alberta, Matilda, me, 28th of May, 1901, do you think? Age seven months and seven days. Yeah. Yeah. And she like touched it, it fell into like a million pieces. Oh really? Like it exploded. Yeah, like that. Yeah, it looks like a hat, you know? Look at the cage around that one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why something like that, eh? Unless it was actually a little bit. That one there looks like it's a bassinet. It just Oh it does, let's go and have a look. This one would have been a nice little angel or something on top. Look at that. Yeah. I wonder if it was a broken hat. I wonder. In loving memory of Zila Ryle, the beloved daughter of Frank and E. M. Hobson, who died at Mulya, May the 20th, 1915, aged 10 years, 11 months. Dunsford MLA Amazing how weeds will grow. Weeds will grow. Right, what have we got in loving memory of Thomas Nicholas Curley who died March 3rd, 1903, aged two years, and Maggie Rule Curley who died March the 4th, 1903, aged three years, ten months. So they died a day after each other. So look, Tom, Thomas died on March the 3rd and Maggie died on March the 4th. That's a bit sad. Brother and sister died a day after each other. Mary McDougal Pescott, 1924, 1934. It's just, it's just a nice little gravesite. Long way from home, South Australia. In Golden Grove, South Australia. Didn't sound that bad over this side. This one, John. Loving memory of Minnie Smith. Don't 
don't you think this is just awful? So much history here and it's just been let go. Someone's looked after that. Someone's also walked in it. In loving memory of Laddie Chukrovsky. Which way is the better way to walk? I think I'm going to walk around that way. I think it's on the other prickles. But I want to get up to these old ones up here. This one's sort of. In loving memory of Jackie Vowles, who died 17th of March 1920, aged six years and six months. And then I would say these are the parents of Jackie. John's full of prickles again. Oh, John, look at that one. It's like lifting out of the ground, like, look over there. Oh, we've got to look at this one. My mum had an Uncle Percy. Beresford died 1933. How cool is that? Yeah. Look at this. This is like a upside down cage. Oh, there's a marker here. Jesus loves our baby boy, Wallace John Maxwell, age eight days. All right, we'll head down that way and then we'll get over there and then we'll leave it because it's just prickly and I'm actually scared there's gonna be a snake in here. Okay, memory of Leslie Harold Warner, died 5th of March, 1899, aged six months and 20 days. In memory of Roy Oswald, Warner died March 7th, 1888, aged eight weeks. The next to it, in memory of Constance Olga Warner, died March 17th, 1888, aged 10 weeks. Well, it looks like Constance may have been the twin of Roy. See Constance was 10 weeks old March 17th and Roy was 8 weeks old March the 7th. But they're in two separate little fences and I'm wondering if this, I wonder if this is now dad in lovely memory of Robert Warner. And then there's another child next to dad again in loving memory of Clarence Jean Warner died March 26 1892 aged six months if that's the case how sad for this family losing all these children as young young babies another one here in memory of Charles credit Carter died May 1st, 1892, aged five months. And then that must be the family next to him. In all this long grass and that, I actually found an ex-serviceman here. I believe there's two in this um, cemetery. Private Lafsky. Here's the other ex serviceman. Unbelievable. Oh, there's another one up there.
driver Flynn his duty nobly done and this one is Private Grant This is beautiful. This one's 1961, but I have to show you because I just love it. We're going to make our way out of here. There's just too much long grass, too many prickles. Um, yeah. Cunnamulla Cemetery, John. Disgusting, really. It's terrible, isn't it's terrible. it? Terrible. Half of it's been looked after and half of it's hasn't. Just the lawn cemetery is beautiful, and then this side, just shocking. Yeah. Um, it's horrible to see cemetery like this. We, um, we're stopping because one, it's bloody freezing, it's windy, and it's there's so many prickles. They're those big bloody prickles. There's too. all there's like five different types I've picked oh. out of. There's one I picked out of one finger, it's got stuck to the other finger, it got stuck to the other finger. Like, <laughs> I couldn't get it off. So we're gonna leave that here. It's a nice short video, but um, interesting to say the least. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching again. Don't forget to Thanks, hit guys. that subscribe button for us. Yeah, I'm getting the car frozen. Yep. See ya. See ya.